Do you think at one point you were the best centre back in the England setup? Yes or no? Ooh. I think he's the best English centre half we've ever had. Really? Yeah. Was he that impressive? Yeah. Is Vincent Company that much better than you? Yes or no? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are back doing the lie detector test. Massive shout out to BT Sport. They got myself, Joel Bayer, and the Man City legend himself, Mr. Jodian Lesko. What are you laughing for? <laughs> Can you really laugh? Because Man City got legends now. That's why he's laughing. <laughs> okay, listen, thank you very much for coming on. Sometimes I speak to you, bro, yeah. and I'm not sure whether you're telling the truth or not. But today we're going to put that to bed. Let's start with question number one. Are you ready, Mark? I'm ready. Mark is our operator, a vigilator, to make sure that <laughs> Jolien ain't chatting rubbish. Okay, let's go for it. Are Arsenal winning the Champions League? <laughs> that's, that's not a question. Well, we've we got to test it, isn't it? Oh. Are Arsenal winning the Champions League this year? Yes or no? No. <laughs> All right, cool. So it works. <laughs> Just checking if it works or not, innit? Okay. Do you think... Come on. <laughs> Do you think... The league title is done now that you've signed Haaland, yes or no? Yes. Okay, why? Why is that? I think the favourite should always be the team that won it last year and City have strengthened their squad. Everyone's talking about they need a striker. They got the man himself, so yeah, it's over. You, you think it's done? We spoke about no, no, it. I'm, yeah. not, I'm, not, I'm not arguing with you, bro. I think it's yeah. done, yeah. like dusted. But um, also, I also think the biggest challenge was Liverpool and I don't think that's going to be as hard uh, as easy for them now without Mane I think they've lost a big big boy playing in him yeah. now um, mass we don't know how Darwin Nunes is going to do yeah um, I mean, they'll be good but yeah Sadio was a problem world class player yeah. and I think some players like that you only appreciate them once they've left yeah do you think Yaya Toure was a better player than David Silva yes or no yes oh wow could you say in player? If you said to me footballer, I would say David Silva. Well, what's the difference though? Because for me, it's the same. No, thing. player is like, like David could play well, and we could lose. Yeah, 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 played well. We won. The game was done. Mm. So that's why I would say player. Mm. Like I think a player is a person that is if he plays his best, the game's done. Never saw it that way. Yeah. And uh, I think there's a few of them. Like Gerard mm. Rooney. Yeah. Them boys never got man of the match and they lost. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, they just yeah. won the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where I think there's other world-class players that, oh, he was outstanding today and the, t the team let him down. They didn't allow the team to let them down. They just controlled the whole scenario. If you were Pep Guardiola, would you have kept Raheem Sterling at Man City this season, yes or no? Yes. I thought you were trying to be... No, nah, I'm good, a good, big fan of Raheem, mates, massive fan. Raheem. Nah, yeah. like, I, I know him, but I don't know him that well. But I mean, in regards to what he's done for the club and what he's, he's done in his career, yeah. But I don't know how it's not a bad thing. I understand why he left the club, sold him, and he wants to leave. I understand that. But in regards for him as a player, who wouldn't want that level of player in their squad? Of course, I think when I saw him go to Chelsea, I thought, you know what? He's going to earn good money. He, I don't see him really winning the league. But he's going to win something. I think he's more likely to win the Champions League than he is possibly. the league. Um, for them, yeah, possibly. For Chelsea. For, yeah, for them, yeah. I can see I that. Mean, it makes sense. I don't think know. they... They're, they're closer to winning the Champions League than the, league. the league. But again, it's, there's other factors. It's, it's London for him, is it, as well? Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's a big factor. I mean, why do you reckon he left? I mean, what's going on? There's obviously going to be more game time um, at Chelsea. So that's probably the biggest thing. When you've, when you've done what he's done, you just want to play? No, no, no. We're, this is look. This is BT Sport and Five here. We're not playing games. Why do you reckon Pep weren't playing him enough? Weren't he playing enough? Because he didn't see him in in the need to play him every How? week. How? What? Because but this is Raheem Sterling. Yeah, hundred percent. But they still won the league. I don't think anyone plays every game for City. So he just obviously picks the players this, that he thinks. This is different, Julian. This guy in the last four or five years, yeah. besides Kevin De Bruyne, and obviously you've got yeah, other key players, yeah, yeah. Yeah. but he has been the goal machine. Oh, 100%. I'm not doubting him. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm just saying, mm -hmm. why isn't picked him? Because he's felt not the need to, to not pick him. I, that, that doesn't make sense to me. 
you need to have to. You need but he's to justified in, in in terms of them winning the league. I don't know. This is big Raza, you know. This yeah, is no, big, it's a big deal. Yeah. This is big I'm Raza, a fan. You know? Yeah, I'm a yeah. fan. I'm, I don't know. I'm just trying to get inside. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, all right, cool. That's, that's, that's all I needed to know. All right, next question. Do you think at one point you were the best centre back in the England setup? Yes or no? Ooh. Yes. It's a lie. Bro, what the heck, bro? Are you saying it? I'm trying you... to think of when. I didn't think it when like JT and Rio was there. You didn't think it? No, no, no. Really? No, no, nah, nah, Rio. Rio's really? the best. Rio's really? the best. Are you saying that like not no friend thing? No, like? no, nah, nah, that, that would determine, my lie detector would determine that Rio's the best. Do you think Rio Ferdinand was the best in the England setup when you played? Yes. I think he's the best English centre half I've ever had. Really? Yeah. Was he that impressive? Yeah. When I went to England, so there was Rio, Ashley Cole, Stevie G, and Wayne Rooney that I thought. Levels. Yeah, I thought everyone was unreal. Mm. Like John Terry was serious, yeah, and yeah. he's serious, whatever. Yeah, yeah. But in regards to what I thought was different, yeah, they they were different than four. Was it a bit? Um, was it a bit like, oh, I'm playing with these top players? Or did no, you no, feel no, like, no. I didn't feel that. I'm here. Yeah, I felt that. Yeah. I felt that I'm here. Um, mm. Probably CBG's aura was the biggest no in regards to that, and the closest to thinking, wow, that's even. No way. Right. Even though he hadn't won the league. Yeah, nah, he wasn't that though. Even Gerard is just like, he won stuff and he did stuff, you know what I mean? Where the others were just like massive players. Stevie was probably the one that I thought, Jesus. What about when he fizzes the ball in and you got to yeah, control that? That's the thing. I give him one of them passes. Yeah. I give him one of them passes and he, and he miscontrolled. It was a horrendous pass from me. Yeah, oh, is it? And he gave him the look. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Like, we were out in the um, Champions League final, yeah. yeah. I was sitting next to Jody and we were out. And when Stevie G walked in, yeah, inside, I just caved in. Like, like yeah, he man. has it's that a big in deal. It. He's got a different aura in it. Like, yeah. Rio is obviously a big yeah, deal, yeah, but he's yeah, approachable yeah. and stuff. I'm not yeah, saying Stevie but isn't, but it's different, man. He's like rare. He's like a rare Pokemon. Like, you just don't <laughs> see them, man, yeah, yeah. that much. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I can't lie to you. That guy's just different still. Yeah. Like, different. Different. Yeah. Do you think Mario Balotelli was an overrated player? Yes or no? Yes. Why do you say that? Because he didn't consistently deliver. Okay. There was players with less ability mm. that consistently performed mm. to their maximum. So for me, if you're overrated, it's because you don't perform to your maximum more often than not. Did he, did he have it though? Yeah. Did he oh have yeah, it? no. If you go back to the semi-final against United. Yeah. Yeah, he ripped it up. Yeah. That has been real. Like to struggle him, but no, in regards to if he turned it on, mm. it was a problem, a real problem, but he couldn't turn it on every week. What about at training? What was he like? Yeah, he was good. Yeah, he was sick. Is it? yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, like in training, he would he would want to beat us and want to because he was strong, fast, and mm. finish. Mm. But we used to be like, that's how you need to play, that's how you need to respect. Mm. You need to respect that position enough to want to disrespect them. Mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Like he wanted to make me, say, Vinny and Cola mm -hmm. look foolish at times, mm -hmm. but he wouldn't have that same determination in games every week. He'd only be selective. It ha didn't help that he was playing left wing, right wing, and mm -hmm. all that. But he was a striker. He's only a striker. Is Vincent Company that much better than you? Yes or no? Answer the question. Yes. Yes. I don't, I don't know. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think at the times we played together, I think, yeah, because he was, that was his peak years. Mine were before that. Okay. Um, and I understood the need to do what's right by him to play. Mm. Like I knew Vinny was going to play, so I needed to be his best partner, mm. not the best centre back. Mm. So that okay. was kind of why I understood it. So, so, and what did you do to Just adapted to my game. So mm -hmm. I knew he wanted to defend on the front foot and, and lead that way. So mm -hmm. I would just make sure any other scenario was covered. Um, did, that, did that feel like the shift of the guard a little bit, do you reckon? In regards to what, me and him? Yeah. No, I was aware of it before. I knew Vinny was going to play. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. it was obvious that he was, he was a captain. So, mm -hmm. like I said, I just needed to make sure we were a good partnership rather than me being a standout. And 
I think it was evident when I didn't play because mm. other centre backs wanted to be the best centre back, back, not the best partnership. So I was just happy being the best partnership. I hear you. A couple more questions. That you know what you've done really well so far. <laughs> if I'm honest with you, Gabriel Jesus. Will he be helping Arsenal to win major trophies? Yes or no? No. I don't think so they got... win trophies. What? I think he, I think he helps them. Okay. Hundred percent. Like I think they potentially get top four now. But okay. I don't think they win major. What major trophies are you talking about? What, FA Cup, bro. We won. We won. FA we Cup. Won, yeah. We won, we won four in eight years, bro. Where you I been? can see that. Where I can see been? that. I can see that. Yeah. But what about, yeah, I, I was just thinking what about Premier Europa? League. What about Europa? Europa League, that's a major trophy. Yeah, it is, but I still, I wasn't just thinking Champions League and, you, and you, Premier you League. You see the way he looked at me like, are you serious? Yeah, like, no, I take what we're in, bro. Let me ask you, I would take Europa League. Is it? What? Who what, wouldn't Arsenal? want to? Me? If, if, if that was in my Fucking. cabinet. At any yeah. gay stage in my career, you win yeah. Europa League? Oh, come on. It's I'm all gonna, said I'm and done. Gonna... I don't know. I, I feel a bit conflicted to say yes or no because you know we've got bare trolls out there. Yeah, but if you take it right now, you win one trophy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll take that. <laughs> Could you I will. Champions League? Especially it's some sort of European trophy as well. That's what I'm saying. And when I look at it, yeah, you see how Jose won it, and obviously he was used to winning Champions League. This was conference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He won conference, and he's happy with it yeah. as well. I was talking about when he won it with United. It, it wasn't like the obviously. Yeah. The levels should have been higher, and he knew that. But it's still something that he'll mention. Yeah, like oh, I want it. Yeah, but he mentioned the charity shield and stuff. Yeah, so yeah, yeah man, you gotta take it serious. Okay, that's fair enough. Zinchenko is he one of the most talented players that you've seen in the left back position? Yes or no? No. No. I'm surprised. One of the most talented. Yeah. Like, I, I, he's well, technically is a I joke. I said for Man City. Yeah, if Man City is different because in yeah. terms of the Pep style, then yeah. Yeah, yeah. But like, I was going like, because you said left back, I was going Ashley Cole, yeah. Leighton Baines. Man City. Man City. Yeah, technically, he's a joke. He's good, man. Like, a joke. Yeah. A high level yeah. technical ability. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely. For I that. saw that in 45 minutes. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, telling yeah. you, the other players look like they weren't on the same level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him and Jesus, their sharpness, it's that city sharpness, man. Yeah, understanding and that. Yeah, he's, he's, but he can play midfield. He's, he's played midfield, so his IQ is high as well. Draco, we can use him there and he'll be I think better he than will. what we have. Party and uh, Shaka. Better? Mm. Because that's what you want, isn't it? That's the aim, isn't it? I think, yeah, it can be better than Xhaka just because he's more disciplined in terms mm. of getting sent off. Okay. And he brings the balance of the left footed as well. I guess so. I guess so. Uh, Last question. Yes. Calvin Phillips. Is he the worst Man City signing within the last two years? Now, let me explain before you answer that. Because... My experience is that when Man City have bought another player, he's been way better than what they currently have. Rodri. Well, he was, better than, he was better than Fernandinho. Well, 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 at least you could say, at least by ceiling. At least, at least the ceiling. At the ceiling. time, he wasn't close. At least the ceiling. Can I, I need to land this. <laughs> I need to land this. When Cancelo came, it yeah. was to potentially yeah, replace Carl Walker or no, Odell. Yeah, I get that. Right? Danilo. Danilo went opposite. Yeah. And then you had, um, who else? Who else have you said? Even Grealish. If you look at Jack Grealish, I'm not saying he's better than Sterling, but at this stage in their career, you can see where one's going, right? I think you're touching here. I don't know. Like, the worst signing. No, well, it's hard to say that the worst signing. That, but that doesn't make him a bad signing. Not a bad, no, he's not a bad player. I think he's sick. Yeah. But I think your squad is so levels, bro, that Diaz... Yes, he one. came in, he replaced yeah. who, who got the Port or the Port, Stones. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Or company goes, you bring in the like it, to me, it seems that the players that are coming in are arguably even better than what you currently what? have. Harland. Harland. Harland comes in, yeah, and yeah. Calvin Phillips, but he's coming to replace someone that isn't there. Like you, you well, gotta Harland, go up. No, not Harland. Really, not Harland. Yeah. I'm saying Calvin Phillips. Yeah. He's coming to replace Fernandinho. Exactly. From last season. Yeah. Like and Fernandinho and I, at the start of, of his career. He's coming to replace the Fernandinho of last season. Yeah, but you lot usually, the, the, play, the ceiling for your players, you look and you go, yeah, that guy's going to be world class. He's England's player of the year, 2021. All right, cool. 
when they got to a final of a major tournament. Well, that's a bit mad because Raheem Sterling was the best player that Yeah, that yeah, I'm, so yeah, I, I, I believe that. I can't, but I'm just saying. I'm not going to sit here and, and that's the same England that weren't playing Jack Grealish when he should have been playing every single game. Like, they what, were giving of, him cameos. Instead of who? Who Jack playing ahead of Raheem? No, but they could have made it work. <laughs> they could have made it work. You know they could have made it work. Could have made it work more, but nah. I, I, it's not a bad signing. Nah. I don't think it's a bad signing. I just mean, I don't think it's City's best signing. I think it's the most sensible signing. Okay. Because if you go enough, who else could you sign in that position? Declan Rice. He's costing and you three he, times he's as much. Not worth, he's not worth 150. As people say that. To West Ham, he's worth like Jack Grealish. He's worth 100 million to Aston Villa. Oh, yeah, fair enough. West Ham. The way you're saying that. He's worth 150 million to West Ham. Is he? To West Ham. 150. To, to West Ham. To what? Do they achieve what they've achieved without him in the last two years? No, but I'm, and then, sure, and I'm then, sure they so, can so, with 100 or something like well, that. Well, that's 100. It's not, it's not pocket change, or, is it? Or maybe even okay, less. Okay, he's, he's 100. Let's say he's 100. Uh, he's all right. Yeah. <laughs> I guess so. I like, I like that way of thinking. I'm going to use it in an argument. Yeah, because to. people say about Jack, I was like, if Jack Grealish wasn't at Villa, then two mm. seasons, they go down. Yeah, no, it's true. So that's he a, is worth... 100 million. No, you're right. So that's Probably it. even more. There you go. That's all you've got to worry about. One side of... One team has got, mm. to, be, he's got to be worth that to mm. one team. Mm. Simple as that. And that's why you're Joel and Lescott <laughs> and I'm Joel Bale. That's why you're the real Joel and I'm not, you know? <laughs> Listen, I was really clutching on that last one. I can't lie. I tried. <laughs> Guys, I want to say thank you very much for joining us. The Lie Detector. Massive shout out to BT Sport. It looks like Joni is telling the truth, guys. Make sure you like, share, comment and subscribe. And we will be back soon. Peace.